After a near four-hour meeting involving the Ministry of Labor, TSTT and the Communication Workers Union, CWU's Secretary General Clyde Elder says he walked out of the talks without much more clarity than when he entered. Friday's conciliatory talks come out of the retrenchment of 500-plus workers from TSTT. Janine Brown reports. Nothing substantial or different to what has been discussed before. The comment from Secretary General of the Communication Workers Union, Clyde Elder, following a meeting with the Labor Ministry and TSTT to discuss massive retrenchment action undertaken by the company. Except that the company committed to get back to the union by Monday relative to uh, pay slips issues surrounding payment of salaries for the first 15 days of November, deductions that were not made, and they also committed to liaise with the union uh, to set a date with the union to discuss redeployment. The union leader condemned the government's silence and what he has repeatedly referred to as an attack on the working class. We have said time and time again that this matter is a matter where the government must say something. I'm not surprised that they have not. I'm disappointed though because at the end of the day this is all a government initiative. And if it is we are wrong, come out and say you're wrong. And if it is we are wrong and the company action is not one to be condoned, come out and say that. Due to the lack of common ground, Mr. Elder said, the option they envisioned all along was what would be the next step. They refused that and so the matter now heads to the industrial court because of that refusal. Janine Brown, TTT News. Meanwhile, Labour Minister Jennifer Batiste Primus is defending her silence on certain industrial relations issues, saying the Industrial Relations Act dictates that the Labour Minister is expected to perform the role of a neutral third party regarding trade disputes. In a two-page press release this afternoon, Minister Batiste Primus said it is in poor taste for the Minister to prematurely immerse herself into the process of industrial relations disputes. She added, in circumstances where all genuine legislated conciliatory initiatives have proven to be futile, the minister's intervention becomes the penultimate stage that precedes referral to the industrial court for final adjudication.